We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Lad McConkey, Chargers wide receiver. Just had a huge game versus the Saints, and just looks like a future star for them. He's exactly what Justin Herbert needed at receiver. A really well-rounded guy, like, you know, might look at him, think he's your typical slot receiver. No, he can threaten vertically, has the speed. He can do all the slot receiver stuff, running your option routes, work the middle of the field, be a quick twitch guy, win in man-to-man, -man, find soft spots versus zone. But he has the positional and alignment versatility to play on the outside, make plays happen, stretch the field, uh, really can just run a diverse route tree. I just like him from start to finish of plays. You look at his release package, his route running, he understands the pace, the nuance of things. Just really dynamic athlete. Uh, I think at the catch point is probably where, like, I was a big fan of him coming out of college. I think at the catch point is kind of where he was at the weakest at Georgia. But he's made some tough catches for the Chargers. And if he continues that, he's going to be very, very good. Can do a lot of the dirty work underneath. Very good after the catch. And just is, a, like, typically on the same page as a quarterback, being, like, a quarterback's best friend. Lots of things to like. But I really think the quick twitch, his ability to, like, Accelerate, decelerate, change direction is really, really special. Uh, very, very exciting player to watch. And he gets after it with the ball in his hands too. Uh, there's still a lot of things overall to like with this game. Like this catch right here versus, <laughs> versus the Chiefs was absolutely insane. So we'll, we'll go back and start breaking this stuff down. This is the long touchdown versus the Saints. Uh, in the slot here, running the slot fade. Like the pace variation, you know, slowing this down. Notice he has time with this being play action and, you know, nice little drop in the pocket for Herbert and he has to let this route clear this out he knows he has the time to slow play this so he stays patient you know sees that he has the inside leverage here boom accelerate out of this get on top doesn't even create a ton of separation usually he's a good separator but even with not creating separation track the ball in make a nice catch at the catch point there stay on your feet too a lot of times guy will will make tough catches like this but then end up on the ground but he stays on his feet, shows great balance, and then just boom, threat after the catch, change direction, big time plays happening. Stay on his feet with a guy, you know, diving in his legs, lots of things to like. And then you get him isolated, you know, working like these option routes over the middle of the field, isolated on a linebacker. He can do a lot of stuff like the Chargers have kind of missed since, you know, not having Keenan Allen. This is like kind of what they've needed. And he just crosses the face of the linebacker. Linebacker has inside leverage, but he's just so dynamic little hop skip right there boom explode out of your break cross the face catch the ball in stride make some guys miss uh he's very good at making people miss even in like tight spaces when he's like around a bunch of guys he's very good at like avoiding the big hit and then falling forward he has such a good feel for that he has had some injuries so that you want to you know see that get cleaned up but like working him on some underneath mesh stuff man to man he catches the ball make multiple people miss stop on a dime like this very impressive change of direction skills and then you have to like being completely slowed down, like so he makes the first guy miss, which is like just a nice play. But then having the awareness, knowing where the next guy is, identifying it, you know, having your momentum completely stopped and still being able to make a nice cut to make that guy miss, just impressive work from McConkey. Very, very fun player to watch. Uh, so does a lot of that stuff. Big guy that can definitely, you know, work on these condensed splits like this. Run some inbreakers. He's been very good on like digs, glance routes, slants, whatever you want to talk talk about on those like inbreaking routes. He has the ability to like threaten you vertically. So like guys have to respect his speed and they're playing deep, respecting the speed and then being able to like make sharp cuts and then being in the right spot to make these catches. McConkey has been do doing that very, very well. Probably where he's been, I think, at his best. Like here's another example of it. Uh, even losing his balance a little bit here, but I like how, you know, he threatens vertically on the DB. He gives a slight outside stem. So you like showing like you might work into the blind, blind spot and break outside. It gets this DB to even, you know, open up his hips more and then break to the inside. Lose your balance a little bit, but still be exactly where you need to be. Him and Herbert on the same page. Catch the ball. Really, really good work there from Lad. Just really exciting player to watch. I think he's going to be a very good player in this league for a long time. I think they got... I think I had Ladd as wide receiver five in this draft. I think that's where I was at behind, you know, the top three and Brian Thomas Jr. So it's nice to see him getting some work. Top of the screen here. You know, he can play in these condensed splits. He can play it on the outside, inside, slot stuff. He can threaten you vertically. He can stem you up here. He's running like, you know, uh, like a swirl route, seven stop. Uh, he does a good job of his stem. Boom. Press up on you outside. Sink those hips. Bring his knees to his chest. Gets out of his break there pretty cleanly, works back to the ball, catches the ball, and then now becomes like an anticipatory threat. 
to be really good after the catch, you have to have, you know, the athleticism, but you also have to have the anticipation to catch it and then know where everyone is. And he can feel like this guy overflowing. So he catches the ball and instantly works back to the inside there and then dives upfield to get that first down and secure it. Just a uh, very aware and smart player too, but combined with the athleticism. He can run the returns, the pivots, these types of routes where you have to like really change directions. This is versus zone, so it's not like he's super separating here. It's just like the guy's giving him up because it's his zones. But you can see the, you know, his change of direction ability. But then once he realizes he's got in the space, the guy gives it up. He just sits down. Herbert finds him, and then he catches it again, and then becomes anticipates. Catches the ball with the ball in the... He's probably shouldn't jump here. Like, you don't need to jump. But even out of the jump, look, you shouldn't be able to like catch the ball in the air like this. As soon as you hit the ground, be able to shift your momentum up field like this is so impressive to get up field and still fall forward for a few yards. Like most guys catch the ball in the air like this. If they jump, they're going to get crushed and not gain a lot of stuff. For him to get up field and then still die forward, get close to a first down when he probably should have been a few yards short is really nice. Here's another example of just working off script like this. I don't think this is a play. This is just him running, you know, a hitch. He sees, look how quickly he makes decisions too because he runs a hitch. Potentially could have been open if Herbert is throwing with anticipation, but he starts to feel pressure, so he steps up. He identifies that Herbert's kind of working off script, so look how quickly he just flips his momentum around, change directions, explode. Unfortunately, I think uh, Herbert misses him a little bit. I do think McConkie kind of slowed down, too. Uh, so just slight miscommunication there at the end with what I think both players wanted, but still impressive nonetheless with his with his athleticism. Really, really exciting player to watch. Another example of working, you know, those glances, those digs over the middle, running this dig, sharp break, get out of it horizontal. Uh, being able to do this, like, when you attack, you can see that he's slightly stemming this guy to the outside to show that he might work to the blind spot, might break to the outside. To be doing that with the slight stem outside to then break pretty off pretty horizontally to the inside is very, very nice work. Not a lot of guys are able to, to work that. Also can just be a slot threat for you, just working these routes identifies where the linebacker is, knows he has to work back towards the ball, be smart about it, anticipation. Look at that lower body bend too. Look where his legs positioned right here. When you're in this position, you should not be able to stay on your feet. The fact that he stays on his feet when he's positioned like that shows off like the ankle flexion, the hip fluidity he has, and then to get upfield, yeah, just great. Um, showed this play earlier. He gets bracketed in the red zone. Wouldn't say this is like his biggest strength is, you know, making these tough catches. He doesn't have the biggest catch rate is, but for... What an, I mean, insane throw by Herbert, but like, what a catch to hang on. Because he gets a knee inbounds, awareness, toughness. Like, if you're making this types of plays, because he's not the biggest guy. If you're making these types of plays as a small receiver with his other skill set, that's that's where you really, really can become an amazing player in the league. Uh, and then he can just beat man-to-man. -man. Like, you isolate him man-to-man, -man, guy's playing outside leverage, he's going to threaten your outside leverage step outside of you with a hard cut, boom, break back across your face, catch the ball in stride, and then still have the speed to pull away and pick up Yak because, you know, <laughs> the stereotypes with some wide receivers, uh, I think he definitely breaks breaks a lot of those. Like, he can do some of those things, but he's, he's a lot more explosive than giving credit for and can be a vertical threat in your offense. Uh, and the ability to threaten vertical is really good for him because even in the slot here, just having this ability to threaten vertical upfield just enough to then break across allows him to create that separation and pick up a nice first down. And it's just kind of all over the film. Here, Herbert is getting pressure and has to throw with anticipation. This is really nice to see with a rookie because even though there's nothing super crazy with the route here, like he just gets out of his break pretty nicely. Um, to be exactly where Herbert expects you to be is a very good sign because he had to throw that with anticipation. And then also to catch the ball, anticipate where the defender is going to be, Make yourself skinny, break the tackle, get upfield, avoid the big hits. Look how he's uh, making people miss, look stupid. Another example of working in the blind spot and then just getting it out of his break so efficiently. His ability to change directions is insane. As he gets out of, he get, he's running the comeback here, gets out of his break really fast. And then after getting out of there, catches it in the air again and then instantly shifts those momentum back upfield. Insane. Insane athleticism. I don't think people realize. I would say some of these these reps are. And then he'll get open versus man or zone match coverage. Gets you to open up your hips. Gets this defender, Max Mellon, to open up his hips. Boom, break back across your face. Change directions. Get hit in stride. And be another nice threat after the catch. Vlad McConkie. Very exciting player to watch. 
one of my favorite rookies coming out of the draft. Uh, you know, I'm a Dolphins fan, but I love watching, you know, draft players, rookie players, love watching them go to work. So if you guys want to comment and subscribe, and it's your time, baby.